Hi everyone, welcome to the Get A Brew channel. So today we're gonna to look at tweaking beer kits and specifically five ways in which you can tweak your beer kits at home. Beer kits are usually a one or a two can kit. Um, one can kit is the likes of this, the Brew Farm Pilsner. It will require an enhancer. So the first thing we're gonna look at is enhancers. So Mangrove Jack's kit, again, it requires an enhancer. We sell a selection of enhancers. So we have uh, liquid malt extract. We have spray dried malt extract. We have the brew enhancers, which are a mixture of dextro spray malt, maltodextrin. So the reason that there is so many is different enhancers can have a different outcome depending on the beer style that you want in the brew. For example, Pilsner and lager styles work exceptionally well with dextrose because it gives it that drier finish. Whereas um, liquid malt extract works exceptionally well with IPAs and eels because it puts that more malt flavor into it. It's entirely your choice what enhancer you want to use. We have foundation beer kits at Get A Brood which use three of these liquid malt extract and there's three of these in it. The reason we use three is we want that to be, you know, more, towards the style, malt forward, full of flavor. Um, so when you're choosing an enhancer, choose wisely because it'll make a better quality beer. At the end of the day, the price of these is, is reasonably cheap for the enhancer. So choose a good one so that you make the best possible beer that you can. And next thing to look at is yeast. Um, most modern beer kits now come with um, brewer strains of yeast. Some do come with a generic yeast strain across the board. So. You have a huge selection of yeast. Um, so we have uh, Fermentus, Lalamond, Mangrove Jacks, AEB. Some that I want to highlight that would be specifically good if you want to make a, a hazy fruit forward IPA. The Firma Whale New E from AEB um, produces great flavor. If you don't have the ability to hold temperature and you want to ferment something really, really quickly at a higher temperature, you could perhaps consider a Quebec yeast. It's a lot more forgiving um, for temperature fluctuations and it allows you to um, start it at a high temperature, at say 37, 38 degrees fermentation. Fermentation should be complete in roughly 48 hours. So um, yeast is something that you should consider. Also, there's some really innovative strains out there. Um, you can do a beer and make it sour using a Philly sour fermentation yeast. You can do a um, lager, fermented at ideal temperatures using something like the Mangrove Jacks M54. So yeast is the second thing we want to look at. Third thing we're going to look at is hops. So look, Get A Brood supply a huge variety of hops and you can approach this in different ways. You can make a hop tea. Um, we've done a video on the channel before showing you how to use our innovative hop tea bags to add that little element of freshness, a little bit more flavor and aroma in the finished beer. Um, you can dry hop, so you can use hop pellets and you can put them in and dry hop at the end of fermentation or even better, add a little bit towards the end of final fermentation, monitoring the gravity. So when you're a few points off your final gravity, add your pellets and then you should get a bio transformation that punches that fruit flavor through a little bit more. Or if you're wanting to add bitterness to the beer kit, you could boil a little bit of water and add some hop pellets to it and then add that and that'll add bitterness to the, the beer kit. So you can add hops to create flavor, aroma, and bitterness. As um, I've explained, there's lots of different ways of achieving that. And we have huge variety of hop varieties, so you've got anything that you can think of, any flavor profile, the hops will be able to add that for you. The fourth thing that I want to look at is botanicals. So um, we have a wide variety of professional botanicals that are used for gin distillers and breweries. And they're also available in homebrew quantities for people who want to tweak. So, uh, for example, I've got orange peel here, um, coriander seeds here. Um, if you want to add them during the fermentation or at the end of fermentation or even make a tea with them and add that to the fermenter, that flavor will punch through. And these are professional botanicals that are used for craft brewers and distillers. So you know that you're getting the finest quality that there is. And finally, the last thing I want to look at is doing a little mini mash. So we can see Kuhn's prepared me and he's put some crystal malt, some oats and some Munich into it. Um, I've written a blog on this recently on how to tweak the beer kits. There's a little bit more information there, but uh, for example, if we take dextrin malt, that is a really good way of adding some mouthfeel and body 
to a beer kit and an element of freshness. So basically get yourself a kitchen pot, add um, water to the temperature, say approximately 65 degrees, and then take your bag and put your grains in it and let it soak um, in that hot water for approximately 60 minutes and then take it out and then add that to the beer kit and the enhancer. So you can do lots of different things with lots of different malts. For example, I've mentioned dextrin, you can use crystal malts, which will add an element of, you know, sort of caramel biscuit flavors. Also, it'll adjust color a little bit. Um, so if you wanted to turn a pale ale kit into a black IPA, for example, you could use the peel roasted barley from Dingamans, um, and it would do that really, really well for you. So mini mash will add body, flavor, aroma, um, and an element of freshness. So five options for tweaking your beer kits. Get experimenting and learn how to use the ingredients um, and enjoy the process. So if you're asking yourself why would you want to tweak a beer kit, it's to suit your personal taste. So perhaps you want a certain flavor to come through. Perhaps you want it to have an element of freshness or you want more body into the beer kit or you've brewed before with a one can kit and just felt that it was lacking something. These little tips and tweaks will allow you to get the best out of it. There's also the aspect of, um, there's no massive expenditure in relation to any of these tweaks. The enhancers are cheap, malts super cheap, hops are super cheap, botanicals are cheap. If you want to tweak your beer recipes, have a little bit more fun on the brew day, you can add these extras in and these enhancers in without a lot of expense and you also don't need extra equipment so if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the comments below and um, please give us a like and subscribe hit the little bell so that you know whenever we release new content and until next time happy brewing